All right, YouTube, I'm making this video for anybody who's got this generation Dodge Grand Caravan and you need to adjust your camber because you just replaced your struts and now your tire looks like mine does. So I'm going to show you how it got this way and what you can do to fix it because if you take it to an alignment shop, they're going to tell you that the camber's not adjustable. You take it to the Dodge dealer, they're going to tell you that the camber's not adjustable. And I know for a fact it's adjustable because it was just fine about 48 hours ago before I put new struts on it. It was fine. Now it's off. The only thing that's changed is new struts. Obviously, I didn't get it right whenever I put it on. That's why I figured, you know, I knew it was off. But that's what I figured, well, I'm going to go take it and get alignment done, and they'll be able to fix the problem. Well, for some reason, at least in my area, everybody around here, including the dealership, doesn't know what in the world they're talking about. And I'm about to show everybody that they don't know what they're talking about. So I'm going to get this jacked up. I'm going to show you the two bolts I'm talking about, and we're going to go from there. Be right back. All right, here we are. We're back. Okay, here's the two bolts I'm talking about right here. These hold the strut to the knuckle. So anytime you take these two bolts loose, it's going to throw off your camber, which is you got positive camber, negative camber. All right, these are what they're telling me are non-adjustable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these loose just enough to where this thing's going to move and we're going to see exactly how much movement you can get out of this thing because it's quite a bit all right we got them loose now all i did was just loosen them up now i want you to see this for yourself ready look how much adjustment there is there okay now granted that's not a very large amount I guess you could say but that is quite a bit look look where the bolt was at I think that's where I need to be right there but this is where I, it was at but now just to prove my point further I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the tire back on and then we're gonna see how much the tire moves with these two bolts loose all right guys I got three bolts tightened up with the impact now you're telling me that that is not a considerable amount of movement see now now the tire looks like it should all right let's see if I can do this now that's just those two bolts loose and that's it this is where it was sitting at, you guys remember? Now, now we're back down. So, um, yeah. I don't know why the uh, all these people are trying to say that there's no adjustment on, on those two bolts because that is quite a bit of difference. Let me get let me go get a, a tape measure. Hold on. All right, guys, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Now, I just got the tape measure up against the inner fender well there. And we're going to look right here at the edge of the tread. Might as well just call that 13 and a half, right? Let me push it on my leg. So that's 12 and 7 eighths. So that's 5 eighths of an inch difference. Now, again, I understand that that may not be a whole lot, but that is quite a bit of difference there by just loosening those bolts. So, uh, I don't know why people don't understand what I was saying. I put in new struts, I loosened those bolts, and it messed everything up. Uh, you know, whatever. 
but um, if you change your if you change your struts out you know you're gonna have this little bit of play it seems like to me the best thing to do is just have the tire all the way out like this then tighten it down um, and you should be good to go again I didn't even really think this mattered because I thought tire alignment shops and especially the dealership uh, would know this information um, but apparently they don't so before you in the quote I got from the dealership for these special cammed bolts that are going to adjust the subframe which did not need to be adjusted that alone was over seven hundred dollars see my thoughts and somebody in the comments please correct me if I'm wrong but I assumed what they were going to do is attach their measuring device on the line machine right you attach it to the wheel I would assume that you would crack those two bolts loose back there and then you would adjust this on the alignment machine to where you need it and then tighten the bolts back down um, obviously I'm, I'm wrong somehow and thinking this and that's fine I don't claim to know everything but I just wanted to share that with y'all if you change your your struts on your Dodge Grand Caravan um, just make sure that it's all the way out again I'll take the tire off and show you um, where to put it um, but because apparently nobody's going to know how to fix it if they find this problem and also real quick I wanted to share with you on these Dodge Caravans I did not know this but the rear shocks are a hydraulic shock now I'm used to you know you push down on a shock and then you see if it springs back out that's how you know if they're good or bad well, I did that to both of my rears on the van, and they just stayed where I put them. And I thought they were bad, so I bought these new ones because I was replacing my front struts. I said, oh, this is what the KYB website said uh, needed to go on my van. These are substantially smaller in size, and they're gas-filled shock, not a hydraulic shock. So when I put these on my van, it actually acted like I had blown shocks. I'd pull up to the red light and the van would go up and just do this number after I come to a stop. So do not put these on your Dodge Caravan.